Well, hello, everyone. How are you today? Um, this is Renee Michelle Floyd, and I am coming to you live and in living color, right? And I have my little board up here today, and I want to talk about how to revive dull, dry, slow-growing sister locks. So the proper title today is Reviving Dull Sister Locks, Tips for Vibrant, Healthy Hair. And so we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to come with three points to learning how to revive dull, dry, thinning, slow growing sister locks, right? And so, but first for my YouTube family, for all of you who are new to me, my name is Renee Michelle Floyd and I am the CEO, owner and the creator of Beautiful Hair Products. And today I am going to be introducing our Argan collection. Um, this is going to be the solution to the problem, right? And But first, um, I want to talk about, um, but first, yes, first, I want to also let you know that um, for you all who are on YouTube, if you like the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and make a comment down in the in the in the comment section. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section, and and I will promise to get back to you on that. If you want to stay and and to uh, follow me and know exactly when I'm going to upload another video, subscribe to the channel. And then uh, go to that bell notification, click on that, and that will notify you each time I upload a new video or any um, activity on my YouTube channel. So I can't wait to get into what um, I want to talk about. So I know who my peeps are, right? My peeps are women between the ages of 46 and 66. And sometimes I have, you know, women that are a little older than that, but those are my peeps, right? <laughs> and so I want to uh, talk to you seriously about how to revive if you're struggling with, okay, you know, this, is, this is why I have my board, right? So let's write it on the board. So this is where you are versus where you want to be, right? So where you are right now, I tell you, I get, um, I get, uh, I've sent out a survey, right? Because I really, really want to help uh, the women who want to be helped, right? Of how to have beautiful, flowing, faster growing hair, right? Sister locks in particular. And so a lot of times they come on, they answer on the survey that they have thinning hair, right? They have thinning hair. It's just thin, thinning, right? Because a lot of times our hormones, as we get older, our hormones um, have a lot to do with um, our hair thinning. Some women say they had this big thick, beautiful hair when they were younger. Well, as you get older, everything changes, right? So sometimes you have hormonal issues, right? And then a lot of times they say they have hair loss, hair loss, right? Hair loss is associated a lot of times with stress. Um, another reason is hormonal imbalances, a lot of that has to do with your diet as well, what you drink, if you're a smoker, um, that kind of thing. Then we have some that say their hair is really dry, right? Is dry. And a lot of times that comes from not having, not hydrating your body enough. Um, and uh, what our diet again, right? Um, and sometimes the products that you use. Um, also causes your hair to be dry. Um, then you have lifeless hair, hair that's just, you know, it's just there. It's just dull, right? It's dull and it's dry, right? And it's just lifeless. It doesn't have any vitality to it. Um, 
let's see, what else do I have? Uh, slow growing, right? Slow growing hair. So a lot of times the hair is grows very, very slow, right? And sometimes that's genetic and sometimes it's not. Like, Typically, before I got into my regimen, you all know that um, I now have a weekly regimen, and I'm going to talk to you about that. But typically, um, when you sometimes is genetic, right? Sometimes your hair can grow really slow because your grandmother's hair grew slow, or your or your dad's hair grew real slow, but. I and I used to believe that, right? I used to believe that my that I took hair after my paternal uh, side of the family. But I learned that all you need to do is tweak it just a little bit and and prioritize your hair health, uh, your hair care, how you care for your hair. And I'm telling you, ever since I started, you see how beautiful my hair is now. Ever since I started prioritizing my hair and um, really having a weekly regimen, my hair took off. I tell you, everyone that knows me knows that my hair has grown by leaps and bounds in the last two years since I've been doing that, right? And so this is normally where when I meet women that really want to go to the next level, level up in their sister likes uh, hair care. They come with these various issues, thinning hair, hair loss, dry, dull, lifeless, slow growing hair, right? And also breakage. You know, you find a lot of times you go through breakage. You wonder how come my hair keeps breaking off, right? You can't hold the length. You want length retention, right? And so, what I specialize in is taking you from here to here. So with thinning, we want to make it fuller, right? We want to make it fuller or thicker, right? That's what we want to do. We want to go from thinning to fuller or thicker. Then we want to stop the hair loss. We want our hair to not uh, to grow, right? We want our hair to grow and get fuller and um, and to stop, you know, losing our hair. So we have to be careful about what we eat again, our, the vitamin intake. Uh, as you get older, uh, you lose a lot of minerals and vitamins and bone mass, et cetera, right? So we want to be careful about what we, um, we want to be more aware of what we uh, intake, you know, the vitamins and minerals that we take. And then dull, dry, lifeless hair, a lot of times it has to do with the products that you use. So you want to use the best hair products for your sister locks, right? That's what you want to do. You want to get the best hair products specifically for sister locks. And then slow growing and breakage it comes a lot of times from dehydrated hair. So we want to moisturize our hair. We want to moisturize and hydrate. Make sure that your hair stays hydrated, right? All right. So that's what we want to do. We want to go from this, this side to this side, right? That's exactly what I specialize in. And so this is exactly what I specialize in. And then this is my favorite part of this whole side is that we want to moisturize and hydrate our hair, right? So, so that's what we have that we're going to be talking about, right? And so, um, Thinning, like I said, thinning sometimes also comes from um, when you get your hair retightened. Let me turn all the way around. When you get your hair retightened, sometimes the loctician tightens it too tight and, and it causes stress on the follicles, the hair follicles. So you want to speak up and tell them to pull back a little bit and not retighten your hair too tight. Um, 
And then uh, also itchy scalp. I forgot to put that on there. Itchy scalp. A lot of times, let me see, can you see that? Yeah, itchy, itchy scalp is also a problem, right? Itchy scalp is also a problem. Let me move it back a little bit so you can make sure you see that. Okay, so itchy scalp a lot of times is the problem as well, right? And so itchy scalp comes from sometimes having a fungi a fungus on your scalp, right? Um, and a lot of times that comes from having residue left on the surface of your scalp. You don't rinse the shampoo out enough um, and uh, you may put too many products, too many ingredients on your hair. You know, I mean, beautiful hair products is really simple. We have four, four um uh, components to our complete set. We have the oil, we have the shampoo, the spray, and the conditioner. I don't have all the serums and all of the gels and all of the foods and all of the everything. Simple is better. Less is more, right? And so sometimes you can put too much product in your hair. And um, and you can make let it stay on there too long. Now, another thing that I want to point out is it uh, ingredients really is key as well as in terms of what products you use on your hair, right? So the ingredients of the products that you use in your hair is very vital as well in terms of it causing fungus. Sometimes you may be allergic to certain things, right? And so um, also. Um, uh, the, like I said, the residue left on the scalp sometimes causes fungus to build up and your causes your scalp to be itchy. And especially if you do not shampoo enough, right? Shampooing. Now I know there's all these old wives tales that dirty hair makes your hair grow. Not true at all. It's just like your skin, right? You need to shower every day, every day. I don't know how you don't shower every day, right? Keep the skin clean, keep it clear. And it's the same with your hair. Now, you know, a lot of us, we're not going to wash our hair every day, but I highly recommend that you at least shampoo it once a week right? If that's just way too much, at least twice a month, you guys, at least two times a month, you know, shampoo your hair at least two times a month. And also, so that causes fungus buildup. And then dry, brittle, lifeless, uh, dull looking hair comes from being dehydrated right? Sometimes the water in your facility, in your home is um, hard water and it causes deposits on your hair as well. And there's no moisture content to your hair. You're taught not to put any uh, product in your hair, right? And if you do only use water, well, water is perfect. Water is good for your hair. But it depends on the area that you live in. Sometimes you, you can smell the chlorine in the water, right? And the bleach in the water. You can smell it. And so a lot of times um, just using water is not going to get it. That causes your hair to be brittle and hard and dry, right? So you need a little help. <laughs> and that's where using the proper products uh, come in. And also when you have too many chemicals and waxes in your uh, product, right? So with us who have sister locks, right? Those of us who wear sister locks, we cannot use any product, any kind of product in our hair. Just because it's good for natural uh, loose hair doesn't mean that it's good for our hair. A lot of those natural products that that's great for loose natural hair has a lot of waxes in them, a lot of gels in it because it is designed to slick your hair down and hold it in place. Well, as you can see with Sister Locks, right? Sister Locks is uh, small, 
They're, uh, they should be light and bouncy, right? And, and because of the size of the sister locks and the fineness of the sister locks, um, it's not good to have a lot of waxes and things like that because it will cause buildup in your hair and it will weigh your locks down and your hair will start breaking off. It will get dry. It will get uh, um, heavy. And, and there you have it. There is stress on your scalp and, um, and then your hair starts breaking off. You're not able to hold the retention of the length. You're not able to hold the length in your hair because it's constantly breaking off, drying and breaking off, right? And so what we want to move from here to here, right? So we want to, we want to experience fuller, thicker, faster growing sister locks, right? We want to use the best hair care products in our hair because when you do that, then you will get the optimal uh, results, right? And um, we want our sister locks to be bouncing and behaving. We want them to be stylable. We want them to be softer, right? We want them to be softer. We want them to be beautiful. And when we have all that, it makes our hair esteem uh, grow, right? It, it makes our hair esteem gets better right? So I, you know, we always talk about self-esteem, but I like to call um, when you have, uh, when you feel beautiful and when you feel good about your hair, to me, that's your hair esteem, right? And so let me ask you this. How would that, how would this make you feel if you experienced all of this, right? If you experience faster growing, thicker, fuller looking, softer, moisturized, hydrated hair, how would that make you feel? How would that actually change your life, right? My life, and I, and I know it's just hair, but for me, it's not just hair, right? Did you know that hair is a part of our overall health? right? And when we have stress, sometimes we go, we get alopecia, our hair starts balding, our hair will just, some people's hair just pull out by the fistfuls, right? Because it's, because it has a lot to do with our nervous system in terms of how beautiful our hair is going to be. Um, it's easy to get a foot, a, a foot, <laughs> A, a scalp fungus. That's why you don't allow everybody putting their hands in your head, right? Now, when I used to do hair, when I was actively uh, installing and caring for uh, other people's sister locks, I always counted it a privilege that they chose me to do their hair. I always took hair care very seriously. So certainly hair is close, is in, on our head, which is close to our heart, which is very personal, right? And so, um, so I always counted it a privilege and an opportunity to be able to, to care for someone's hair. So it's very important that you make sure you don't have a lot of people in your head uh, using everybody's uh, utensils in, in your head, that sort of thing. That will cut down on breakage. It will cut down on possible funguses, um, et cetera. Make sure that you prioritize your hair. Make sure that you know that your hair is important to your overall health, right? Make sure that you know that. And what would stop you from getting these results, right? If you can get all of these results, what would stop you from not moving forward and doing that, right? So I want to segue into showing you, um, into to giving you the three key points. That's right. I want to segue into giving you the three key points to reviving your dull, dry, thinning, slow growing um, lifeless sister locks, right? And so there are three key points. And now, and I'm going to go 
Um, and I'm going to do three key areas. And in each area, there are going to be three points, right? So the first thing we talked about and the first thing that's most important is hydration and moisture, deep conditioning your hair, right? And this, so I'm going to do that in a few, and then doing oil treatments, right? And then steaming treatments. You all see my where is she at? Right here. You see my best hair friend right here? That's the steamer. And it's very important to do steaming treatments, right? Also, the nutrition and your lifestyle has a lot to do with whether you are on this side of the board, right? We want to have a balanced diet. We want to consume a diet rich uh, a diet rich in vitamins, minerals, and protein, especially biotin, right? Zinc, you definitely need zinc, vitamin E, and others, right? I'm just going to give those few for now. And then in terms of scalp health and circulation, you want to start doing scalp massages, right? And avoid tension and tight um, tight styles. For instance, you know, pulling your hair all the way back and making your scalp uh, uh, irritated by having a really tight ponytail where your edges are pulling, you know, that that type of hairstyle will be damaging for real. And sometimes you cannot uh, recover from what they call um, um, tension alopecia, right? Sometimes it causes baldness and you can't get that hair uh, back. And then you want to oil your scalp, not grease your scalp. We want to oil our scalp, right? And some of the best oils that you can put in your hair is peppermint oil. Now, not just the peppermint uh, essential oil just directly on your scalp, but oil that has peppermint essential oil in it, like what we do, right? We have uh, tingling scalp and hair, peppermint hair uh, oil, right? Argan oil. You want to put argan oil in here. And I'm, I'm just dying to show you these products. Then you want to use castor oil, right? So all these products we have, right? Um, and then you want to make sure that you have proper nutrition, right? That helps promote healthy scalp and hair, and hair growth. And I'm just going to name a few. So spinach. Spinach is one of my favorite. I, I basically eat that every morning with a what I call a green drink. And it's in my mother's cookbook. It's a hot drink. I like to drink mine hot, right? So it has green, it has spinach in it, uh, then avocado, right? So it has avocado in it. And I'm basically a vegetarian for the most part. Sometime I'll eat a piece of chicken or some turkey. Other than that, 99% of the time I'm vegetarian. And so uh, my favorite fish is salmon, right? And um, and now I've switched over to wild caught salmon, right? I mean, I've been doing a lot of studying on foods and diets. And a lot of times um, the fish that they use uh, in the markets is farmed, which that is my favorite because it's nice and juicy, but wild caught, I'm starting to, to come over to the wild caught side, right? So salmon is really good. Mackerel is good. Uh, my husband makes this bomb uh, mackerel dish and it has onions and, 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 uh, and rice and, and it is so, so good, right? So mackerel and salmon, um, those fishes have the omega-3 fatty acids, which support uh, scalp health and hair growth, right? Um, and oh, going back to avocado. So, you know, avocado, and I just planted, <laughs> I just planted an avocado tree in my backyard. Y'all, I always have loved avocado and I've always wanted an avocado tree. And so I went out and we bought an avocado tree. My husband planted it for me. And I know about five years from now, hopefully sooner, um, I will be able to just go and just pull off one of those avocados. I love them, right? But you know, avocado has become pretty popular here lately with the avocado toast. So there are ways that you can use. And of course, you know, um, avocado um, uh, dip 
you know, the um, guacamole, right? You can use that as well and spread that on your sandwiches. And then we want to make sure that we get our essential nutrients from our vitamins and minerals, right? So one, of the, I'm just going to name a couple. One key vitamin that you really need is vitamin D, especially for those who are in more of the dark uh, country of the world, right? Uh, Alaska sometime. Um, they have uh, uh, six months of darkness. I think that's how it is. I think that's what my cousin said. <laughs> and um, so you want to make sure that you get your vitamin D, right? This stimulates hair follicle growth and it helps to maintain a healthy hair structure, right? And so sun exposure, when you're not around the sun, right? Sun exposure and fortified foods are good sources of vitamin D, right? And then iron, you really want to make sure that you have iron in your diet. First of all, iron is what gives you that boost, give you that energy, right? And so iron also strengthens your hair and prevents breakage, right? And so iron deficiency can lead to hair loss, right? And, um, Iron includes food, rich foods like spinach, like I always uh, already um, mentioned lentils. And for you who like who are eat who eats meat, um, red meat, right, is also there. And then zinc, right? Zinc is good for a whole lot of things. In particular, it supports hair growth and repair. And zinc is found in a lot of nuts and seeds and whole grains, right? And so with that, um, whole grains, you know, for me, I don't like white rice unless it's jasmine rice, right? I like brown rice. I like, well, basmati rice is white, but it has a little more nutrients in it than just plain old white enriched rice, right? Um, oatmeal. If you're going to eat oatmeal, eat the whole grain oatmeal, cornmeal, right? I like just regular, uh, full whole grain, yellow cornmeal, right? Um, so those are some of the things that you might want to take into consideration. And like I said, you use, you, I want to encourage you to use only the best products that will um, be winning for you, right? So when, so for instance, I wash, condition, oil, and steam my hair every week, right? That's my me time. Now, for some of you, that may be a lot, right? But I encourage you to at least give yourself your me time. Make your hair care routine a priority at least twice a month at least twice a month. Did you know that it's very important to prioritize the care of your hair, especially us who have sister locks, right? Sister locks is a beautiful hairstyle. It's really pretty much, mm, I wouldn't say carefree, but it's pretty much easy, right? If you wear your hair, I, my favorite is having the curls, right? I love having the curl. That's my favorite. And then if I get lazy, right, I'll, I'll just braid it and let it be crinkly. I, that's another nice style, right? Um, but it still looks good if I just let it be straight. If I don't do anything to it and it's just what I call uh, in the natural state, just, you know, uh, freestyle is what I call it. It still looks good, right? And so um, I, I don't want this hair care regimen, this routine to be a, a stressful situation for you. I want you to change your mindset and how you look at it, how you look at caring for your hair. Your hair, once you fall in love with your hair and you really give it the time and attention, um, I'm telling you, you will begin to see your hair flourish. Seriously, you will begin to see your hair flourish. Make sure you put your satin cap on at night, right? And make sure you protect your hair. Make it a priority. That's what I want. How would that change your life? When if you if you're on this side, seriously, how would it change your life to begin to experience what it's like to have flowing 
softer, fuller looking, uh, thicker looking and faster growing sister locks, right? Again, like I said, for those of you who are suffering with alopecia and really just hair coming out by the handfuls and, um, and really experiencing, you know, that hair loss like that. I want you to, like I said pre previously, is to look at your diet, look at your water intake, um, begin steaming your hair, right? Um, and watch for the type of products that you use. If it has a lot of waxes and gels and all those type of things, I would back off for from it, especially if you have sister locks, right? And so, um, so that brings me to, um, that brings me to introducing you for this segment. I want to introduce to you our, um, Argan collection, right? This is our Argan collection right here. And I have it all, it's all, you know, ready to ship, right? I didn't, I didn't take the, the plastic off. This is, we now, uh, uh, what do you call it? Shrink wrap our products, right? So this is one of the most important products is your shampoo. Let me see if I can, ooh, I, you can't really see it too much, but yeah, let me see right here. This is the most important. There you go. There you go. Is our Argan Oil Luxurious Moisturizing Shampoo, right? A lot of people don't think that shampoo is important, that it really doesn't make a difference, but it really does make a difference, the shampoo that you use in your hair, right? This shampoo is really simple. Uh, it helps your hair to stay moist. Uh, it draws moisture to your hair. It does not strip your hair. It has a nice amount of argan oil in it. Um, it will not cause buildup. It's a clarifying shampoo, but it does not strip your hair of your necessary vital hair uh, or um, oils as well. So this is our Argan shampoo. And by the way, I have my store shelf underneath this video. So, and also this, this, the, um, in the description area, uh, in this video, under the video, you will find all the links to the products, right? Or at least to this product here. Um, and then here is your, well, that's the shampoo. Let me tell you about the conditioner, right? Let me, <laughs> let me put this up so that you can see the conditioner. This is our Argan Oil Luxurious Conditioner Cream. Now, all of our conditioners are leave-in or you can rinse it out. This is an excellent um, cream to uh, used to bring uh, vitality and radiance back to your hair. It smells good. It feels good on your hair. And this is what I use as well. Sometimes when I want to roll my hair, I can use this as a, cold, a cream, um, you know, a setting lotion almost. Um, and so this just really adds a hydration and bounce you know, to your hair and brilliancy to your hair. So this is our conditioner. Then we have our Argan Oil Luxurious Hair Oil, right? This is our luxurious hair oil right here. I'm trying to show it to you right there, <laughs> right? So this is, this goes a long way. This is my absolute favorite oils out of the oils that we have. And the reason is, is because it is just take a little, I just, pour a little bit in my hand and I rub it on top of my head. Um, and it just really makes my hair glow without it being greasy, right? And no buildup at all. So that's what this is. This is our um, luxurious argan oil with Pomerosa and almond. Wonderful oil, right? You can also use this when you get ready to steam your hair, right? Then we have our moisturizing hairspray. This now, this product right here is probably used the most, right? Because sometime during the middle of the week, you may feel like your hair is dry um, and you need a little moisturization to your hair. All you do is shake this, this shampoo, this uh this spray up and lift your hair and spray it. Now, normally, y'all, if I don't have my hair did. Right, I will be demonstrating how to put this 
this um, this spray in your hair, right? But today um, my hair is done up and I'm not going to demonstrate it today, but you can look at all the other videos that I have in my, <laughs> in my arsenal of videos. But this, this spray is excellent to bring a hydration back to your scalp and to your hair. It just take a little bit and it will be revitalized. So this is our Argan Oil Luxurious Collection right here. Want to encourage you to pick you up a set. And like I said, I have all the links uh, underneath this video in the comment section, um, in, the, in the description section is the links to the actual um, collection right? Which includes the steamer, right? So I have the collection for the argan oil. You get all the argan oil products and you get to uh, get the steamer and all the accessories and the trainings and everything that you need. If I would, if I didn't serve you well, I would not be, um, sh I wouldn't be sharing everything that you need. You need everything, right? for it to be effective. And so I have the, the link to the complete premium moisturizing steamer bundle right in the description area. So I want to encourage you to check us out. Make sure that um, you make a comment. If you have any questions, you all please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, make a comment in the comment section. And for those of you who are in the beautiful locks club. Hey, how are you? And let me just share with my YouTube family. Did you know, because some people didn't even know that I finally launched my beautiful locks club. I am so excited. And so all you need to do, if you want to become a member, we just launched last Tuesday, the 19th. And we are filling up our community with the content that you need, that you love, that's going to take you from here to here, right? We're on a mission to change the trajectory of your sister log's journey. And I'm here for it. And I want to help change your hair life. What about you, right? And so... I just wanted to come on here and sh hopefully share some things with you that will make a difference in, um, in your hair care and in your hair life. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for viewing, for watching, and for hanging out with me today. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>